Alrighty, new version here. Check this out. Obviously no sounds, but we got a revision. This guy is going to go off and... All right. Cool. Let's go one by one. Let's see. Since this guy is on screen first, check this out. So it's definitely a lot better. I don't see a massive change. There's still a bit of a... If you look at this here, we almost come to a full stop. And then you can see here, this is a bit of a linear pop there. Now you gave me the Maya scene as well. And I'm going to go afterwards into this, but just for now, you can see this here. That's your, your culprit right there. So it starts to ease in and come to a pretty much stop. And then that's a whew, sudden acceleration versus flattening this out. Let me take this off here where it's more, hold on, my screen recording thing here. There you go. Um, it would be something that's a bit more, oh, you got weighted tangents. I'm not a massive fan of these, but it's more something like that. It rolls, keep, keeps going and then comes down. And then I have to look at what that is, if that's the moment of impact or whatever you have, but that's more like it, but I'm getting to that scene later on. But that's the first thing that I'm seeing here. The rest is pretty good. You got a bit of a, bit of a strong forward acceleration right through there. But the stop is good. The impact I think is right. It's a little soft little roll stop at the end. I think it's mostly here. And then it feels like there's a sudden acceleration right through there. It speeds up a bit versus kind of losing steam and just kind of bouncing. Uh, let's get this guy here. Not too bad. Maybe a little bit of a acceleration through there. It's a bit even. Just a bit, but it's really very subtle. And maybe here. What's going on here? Eases in a little bit. Maybe. I'm kind of missing for some reason that impact frame on playback. What was there? Maybe a bit fast at the end. Super big. I think this totally works. Yes, I make sounds all the time. Yeah, maybe a little bit fast at the end. Super picky. And then the other one is where does it come in? This guy. Okay. Oh, bit of a slowdown through here. Let's watch this again. Something's going on here. This might just be my playback, but mm, no, I can see this here. It suddenly flattens out and kind of slows down a lot. And then here it slows down too much. It's like you want it to hit this, but it will probably hit a bit higher. And there's some little hiccups here in terms of the forward movements, but nothing crazy. And then that rest here, let me see. Stops a little bit abruptly there, just a little bit. Could be just a bit softer. And that's it. Yeah, you're super close. It's definitely a huge improvement compared to the previous version. Now, let me expand the capture area and open up Maya. Okay. So, like I said, let's start with, that's your guy here. Actually, I'm just going to zoom into this here. See, this just feels a bit better. Let's go big here and roll into that drop. Now, because we're slowing this down, we have this here. So maybe also that's what you're reacting to. So you're going to have to potentially, I'm just going to go crazy. Do I have auto key here? That's probably what, what's happening too, right? Because you don't want to hit this here. So you're just going to have to bring it up higher so that it rolls off based on that edge and then it's too fast. Okay, so then you're gonna have to take this and give it a bit of this and a little bit of that. Let's just see, it goes like that. So you slowly roll off that edge and then it has that boom. But then, so I was talking about here, something accelerates through there. Let me see what that curve, 
is doing. Okay, so that's that guy. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's this with that sudden acceleration. But let me see. What if we actually don't do any of this? And then see, it rolls until it hits here. Okay. So then I would just take this guy out. So we have a bit of a nicer fall off. Comes to a bit of a... Oh, okay, this one's not broken. Into almost like this here. So now it's kind of a sh doom doom. Okay. Bit fast and then a sudden stop, so it would probably be more something like this. And I like the rest that you had here. I think this felt nice. You got the impact, stop, recover roll. Bit, I don't say harsh, but it could probably. Oh, okay, see that? See, that's a bit too linear. Is that broken? Yes, it is. So I will probably soften that that return a bit more and maybe because then it's going to be a bit fast give it this a bit of a let me see and sh -doom. and yeah something like that I will probably to be honest give this a bit of a longer leash here and then slow this guy down but it also has to come to a stop. So I would actually do this. This is getting very picky. And slow stop and recover. I mean, if I be super picky, that, that end is also a bit, bit fast. Probably more like this. Then the heavy guy here. I think that was all good. This drop felt a tiny bit even. Is it though? Not really. I mean, you can probably push it just a bit more. Oh, I see a bit of a broken tension there. Watch out. And then at the end, this is the hit and then the drop. So we might argue that right at the end, when it falls okay that's this guy oh okay so we have this and you can see how it's almost slowing down a tiny bit and then it suddenly accelerates so I'll probably keep it more like this and keep this a bit more of a steady steady curve just a bit let me see Doing. Doing. The acceleration a little bit i liked all that it's fine yeah maybe still a tiny bit fast but definitely Little picky polish. All right, this guy. This guy got some wonky forward translates, which is your Z. I see. Okay. So you're having this a bit of a change in here. Ah, uh, these are the ones. See, when that curve goes down and up, that's wonky there. I would probably not have anything. Where am I at here? This guy. I wouldn't have anything here. Even this, to be honest, would be minimal. And then hits this. I will go uh, probably linear on both here. Just for shits and giggles. And see what's going on. And after that, it hits this. Sure. You know what? Let's make this just all linear for now. That change, I don't think we need it. Hits this for sure. And then hits that. I can see why you want to do this. Does it hit the wall? It hits the wall here. So to me, it would be maybe, but just again, just to see this. I don't mind a little slowdown. And then a turn. And that's your, your stop. This is a bit wonky here. Probably make this not as big here. Soften this guy and go out a little bit and just soften that guy. Whoops. Where's my frame? There you go. Just 
just to see. So we're looking at this guy coming in. That's better. So it's tiny changes. I understand why you would set a key every time this guy hits the ground because it's it's friction, it loses some of its velocity, momentum, blah, 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 blah. But I would simplify it and then you can always go from there. But this, just at first glance, just seems overall less where you go like, oh, that's a weird sudden change. I mean, you might even, you might even say, let me see, not slow this guy down so much. Just a thought, Whoa, okay. Break this, keep it. Did I? There you go. Maybe a bit more like that. With a slight slowdown. Could be a bit wonky, but let me see. Boom, boom, boom. Should be fairly smooth, at least for me it is, given it's just, you know, simple spheres in a play blast, but with the screen recording, it might be not super smooth, but I'm gonna keep this, save this, and add that to your uh, response email, so you can take a look at it. Alrighty, and that is that, thanks. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions, either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.